Hey guys, it's Wednesday night. It's the would be the I guess the fourth night of our reading on what's going on in the Holy Week in the life of Jesus. So tonight, most of the tonight we're going to be in the book of Matthew. We're going to be in chap, chapter twenty six, verses fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, and we're also going to flip over to the Old Testament and read from Zechariah chapter 11 verses 12 and 13. So what's going on right now is on Wednesday Jesus is basically kind of it's like his day of rest. Passover is going to start tomorrow on Thursday and he's in Bethany. He's been kind of there just just relaxing and this is when we see Judas the the seed planted in Judas or when Judas decides that he's going to betray Jesus, okay? So in Matthew chapter 26, verses 14 and 15 and 16 read, Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? And they counted out to him thirty pieces of silver. So from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. So for thirty pieces of silver, for the price of a common slave in their time, Judas agreed to turn over Jesus to the, the chief priests and the, and, the, and the folks that were after him. The reason he did this, that, that most people believe and what I think is, he was almost disappointed in Jesus that Jesus hadn't already caused basically like an insurrection to go on in Jerusalem during, this, you know, during the start of the Passover. Remember, he, he was a Jewish man and he wanted this, this glorious ruler to come in and take over, you know, a mighty, a mighty man. And that's what Jesus is going to be when he comes back. He's going to come in as a, as a warrior and take over. Um, but here we see that Judas, I think he was just trying to get the ball rolling. Like if, you know, if he can get Jesus, get, get, get him turned over to these guys, that'll get him fired up and he'll, he'll really come through. Remember, he'd been following Jesus for three years now. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that he was saved or that he was a true believer in who Jesus was. We don't really know that. I mean, there's lots of different uh, directions people go with that, so I'm not going to get into that tonight. But what I will tell you is this is this fulfills prophecy. So if we flip over to back to Zechariah chapter 11, verses 12 and 13, it says, Then I said to them, If it is agreeable to you, give me my wages, and if not, refrain. So they weighed out from my wages 30 pieces of silver and the Lord said to me throw it to the potter that princely price they set on me so I took the 30 pieces of silver and threw them into the house of the Lord for the potter now this is going to be very important because later on Jesus or Judas is saddened and, and maybe even remorseful for turning over Jesus and he takes that 30 pieces of silver back and says, hey guys, here, I don't want this money. And they say, well, we can't take that. That's blood money. So they use that to buy what? The potter's field. So it's neat to see how the fulfillment of the prophecy from the Old Testament and the New Testament in the life of Jesus and what's going on right now. Hope you join us again tomorrow night. Remember, we love you. God bless you. And y'all keep praying.